Um, so what's your name and a little bit about you, some of your background? Yes, so my name is Veronica and I'm from Ukraine. I was born and raised there, but my family moved to the United States in 2015 during the initial war that was starting out in Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia have had an amicable relationship for years. How do you feel about Putin's decision to start the war? Saddened, of course, because I consider Russia's and Russians my friends and I am very worried for my homeland and for people in Ukraine. Um, I am disappointed to say that we saw it coming. Luckily, Ukraine has been preparing for the past seven years for the next attack and I just think that Putin is in the wrong and he's trying to spread fake information and false idea that it was Ukraine that was doing it, but in reality, Putin is going with an unprovoked attack. Do you think the U.S. has had any influence on the recent events? Um, I think it's a very difficult question to answer, um, considering how there are so many multiple perspectives. Um, yes and no. I do think that it's been helpful to have Biden and Zelensky who is the president of Ukraine relationship and them staying in contact and the U.S. being informed of what is happening. Um, yeah. How are the Ukrainians reacting to the recent events? With resilience. That is something I'm proud to say about my people. Ukraine has the legacy of bravery and resilience and hope and Ukrainians have been nothing but strong. Of course, there's a lot of panic that people are trying to not fall into the trap of panic and people are worried. However, um, a lot of public figures, including entertainers and singers and politicians and including our own president are in the front lines and are wanting to help. There are videos of regular citizens like an 80 year old man who is out there with his homemade um, bag and saying that he's out there to fight for his grandchildren or women that are making food for their neighbors or um, people making Molotov cocktails and getting use of their liquor cabinets in order to create protection and in order to save our home and what is left of it. There is also a lot of news stations and radio stations. They united and they're giving 24 seven latest news and updates in order to keep people in the know and keep them informed. So how do you think students at UVU could help? Get informed. That is a huge thing. I have been personally posting a lot of resources and information on my social media. There are ways to donate. There are ways to call it to the Senate and ask to make several changes. Um, there are also different documentaries that students can watch if money isn't an option because knowledge is a form of understanding and power and just getting that information out there can make life changes. And if we can, do, like, can we have enough money in order to um, get resources to Ukraine, Ukrainians are able to take care of it if they have enough um, military, if they have enough um, weapons, food, if they have the necessary resources, Ukrainians can take care of themselves because they're strong people. It's just spreading the information and resources right now is what we can do here. I love that. Thank you. And how can we sort out between real life and fake news regarding the war? Great question. That is very difficult right now, especially because American and Ukrainian and Russian news are so different at times. Um, the official page of President Zelensky, who Volodymyr Zelensky, he's the president of Ukraine right now. He's vowed to keep constant source of news flowing. Also, it's important to check the official news. Um, and it's important to think critically and check with different news before accepting something as a fact. In conclusion, I just want to um, invite everyone to act and invite our community within the sphere of influence to um, find a way to 
not just educate ourselves, but to spread the information. It might seem like our sphere of influence is very small and we're half the world away, but we are capable of making that change if we just take the extra time to understand how we can do so.